Good morning, Whitehead Wildcats. Buenos dias, Whitehead Wildcats. You had yesterday off. Today mm -hmm. is Thursday, December 3rd, and we are rocking this all school remote learning. Do you remember the other day when I was outside in the hall and I was talking about Mrs. Hunt and Ms. Gild's class and everything they were doing with reading and math? Well, guess what? This was the pretest for character traits. Well, and Mrs. Hunt's class had already taken the post test. And here's the results. The green are the number of kids that got it for the pretest. The green over here are the number of kids after learning about character traits that got it. That is so awesome. Yeah. So oh I'm my gosh. 27 monolingual fifth graders. Who got it. Starting off with only nine. Fabulous. What is 27? Minus nine. Three. <laughs> no! 27 minus nine is 18. Oh, okay. So that means that 18 more kids got it. Woo! So proud of you kiddos. All right, why are we in this room? Those of you who are in fifth grade know whose room it is. Woohoo! And we have a special guest that we want to celebrate this with. And the special guest is going to read for you today. Mm -hmm. So are you Thursday. ready? Here comes Mrs. Hunt. Woo! Okay, Mrs. Hunt. All right. We are going to read the, P the Bear and the Piano. We read this book today in fifth grade so we could learn about plot. Oh, mm -hmm. plot. One day in the forest, a young bear cub found something he'd never seen before. What could this strange thing be, he thought. Shyly, he touched it with his stubby paws. Plunk! The strange thing made an awful sound. Oh, I don't know. So the bear left, but the next day he came back, and the day after that too, and for days and weeks and months and years, until eventually, mm. the sound that came from the strange shining thing, thing, the sounds that came from the strange thing were beautiful, and the bear had grown Ooh. big, and strong and grisly. Wow. When the bear played, he felt so happy. Mm. The sounds took him away from the forest and he dreamed of strange and wonderful lands. Nice. It wasn't long before the other bears in the forest were drawn to the clearing. Every night a crowd gathered to listen to the magical melodies coming from the bear and the strange thing. It's like a little concert. I see them all standing around there. I know. That's a lot of bears, uh -huh. too, man. Little squirrel, too. Look at he's on his rock. Oh, mm -hmm. Oh, squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> then, one night, a girl and her father came across the clearing. They told the bear that the strange thing was a piano, and the sound it made were music. Come to the city with us, they said. There is <laughs> lots of music there. You can play grand pianos in front of hundreds of people and hear sounds so beautiful they will make your fur stand on end. Mm -hmm. The bear knew that if he left the forest, the other bears would be very sad. Oh, that's very compassionate. But he longed to explore the world beyond the woods, to hear more wonderful music, and to play bigger and better than before. And before long... Uh-oh, what's going to happen? <gasps> Look at that. The bear's name was up in big bright lights in the big bright city. See, it says the bear and the piano, <laughs> unmissable. You won't believe your ears and your eyes. Yeah, I mean, just having a bear, <laughs> I think it's big enough news. Right? <laughs> he played sold out concerts in giant theaters. Yeah, I bet he did. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go. Yep. Every night he, perform he performed with such passion and such grace to wild applause and standing ovations and huge admiration. Grace is like a hard thing, I would think, mm -hmm. for a bear to have. I would think being as big as he is, <laughs> yeah. yes. The bear recorded albums that went platinum. Ooh. He was interviewed for magazines. He won awards. He met new people every day and created headlines everywhere he went. I bet. The picture makes me so sad. The city was everything he had hoped it would be, but deep down something tugged at the bear's heart. He had fame and awards and all the music in the world, but he missed the forest. He missed his old friends. He missed his home. Mm. Mm -hmm. I understand that. So the bear decided to go back. 
he speedily crossed the river and excitedly pounded into the forest. He couldn't wait to tell his friends about his time in the city. I like this picture, how he's like running through the forest in a tux. In a tux. <laughs> I think that's fantastic. That's not a sight you see every yeah, day. No. <laughs> but when the bear reached the familiar clearing, it was empty. Aww. No piano, no bears, no anything. The bear started to worry that his friends had forgotten him or that they were angry that he had left them behind. Ooh, I have an idea. Mm, prediction? I have, yeah, I have, a, have prediction. a prediction. I do. We'll see if it's right. Then a friend stepped into the clearing. Hello, cried the bear. I'm back. I've missed you so much. Without saying a word, the gray bear ran back into the trees. Wait, called the bear. I'm sorry I left. Please stop. But his friend just kept running. Mm. The bear stumbled after him, moving deeper and deeper into the forest until he saw something that made his fur stand on end. Wow. For the bear had not been forgotten. His friends weren't angry, but proud. The bear realized that no matter where he went or what he did, they would always be there watching from afar. They had even kept the piano safe in the shade, ready for his return. Aww, that's so sweet. So after the bear had told his friends about his life in the city and the many concerts he had played, he sat down to play once more, this time for the most important audience of all. Aww. Aww, that was wonderful. <laughs> that was darling. Mrs. Hunt, you are an amazing reader. <laughs> Thank oh you. my gosh, boys and girls, didn't you love that story? <laughs> Good the job. The bear and the piano. And the one thing I wanted to share with all of you is the bear realized that no matter where he went or what he did, they would always be there watching from afar. And boys and girls, when you grow up and you do whatever it is you do, your friends, your family, the people who love you are watching. Even your teachers. Oh, yeah, yes. teachers, yes. right? And so Mrs. Hunt is working so hard along with all the teachers in this building to help you be the best you can be so you can be really proud of who you become. Absolutely. Wow. Bear on the Piano by David Litchfield. Mm -hmm. Good book. Yeah. Okay, birthdays? We do, we have quite a few. We've got some tomorrow, which is Wednesday, you're home, which is really yesterday <laughs> for you when you're watching this. It's kind of like a paradox. It's okay, you'll get there. Sorry, you celebrated yesterday. Yes. We're celebrating you today. Yes. Jesus Alvarado Martinez in kindergarten, Jaslyn Rodriguez in first grade, Angel Carnett Jones in fourth grade, Yanelli Medina Alvarez in fourth grade, and David Rasmussen Jr. in fourth grade. Wow, wow. Fourth, fourth graders. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. All right, well, happy birthday, kiddos. Mm -hmm. All right, are we ready? We are, but just a reminder, if you are in need of food pickup, please go to the RPS 205 Facebook page to find out all the, lo the locations for pickup and all the locations for delivery. It is also on our website at rps205.com under meals. Got it. All right. Okay, ready, ready in Spanish? Ready. Okay, okay. stand up, kiddos. Yo prometo lealtad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América y a la república que representa Una nación bajo Dios, indivisible, con libertad y justicia para todos. All right. I will be respectful. I will be, be respectful. respectful. I will be responsible. I will be responsible. I will be safe. I will be safe. Oh, boy. I will be kind. I will be kind, especially to my parents or guardians or babysitters. <laughs> when there are tech problems. And no excuses, kiddos. There's a no. couple of them that are going, oh, I don't know how to get on. Yes, oh, you they do. do. Ooh, I heard one today. What? I can't find my power cord. Oh, no. Guys, we got those excuses. No. Uh-uh, we're gonna start knocking on doors. <laughs> You're gonna see our faces, <laughs> not just through the screen. <laughs> All right, and I will do my best today for this day will come no more. Make it a great one, kiddos. Bye. I hate when it does this, and then I gotta go in and cut it because I can't like.